All right, I got a story that I just told tonight to uh, Autumn and Echo. And I haven't really told it before, but I'm going to tell it again and put it up online. When I was like 10, me and Bob Gregg and, and Nick Stevens and I think Bob Gregg's cousin were, were hanging out and we were like the neighborhood kids and Bob's cousin. I think it was Eric. It might have been Eric. Um, we were hanging out and then Nick Stevens, like, I think little cousin came, wanted to play with us. We were at Nick Stevens' house in the backyard. And I, you know, they, they were making fun of her and I didn't say anything about it. I just kind of like stood there and felt bad. And then she really wanted to play and they said, okay, well, <laughs> we're going to go, <laughs> we're going to go into the cemetery. There's a cemetery, um, on the block, like the whole block that I lived on growing up. There's like the, it's a huge, this huge, huge block in the middle of Cuyahoga Falls. And it was, uh, the, uh, high school and this huge cemetery. And, uh, so they went and jumped in the cemetery over this metal fence where the, at the top of the fence there were like these crosses of metal, you know, twisting metal up and that's how the fence was made. So the girl had these fucking... I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not expressing the story properly. Like... The girl had these, these cards, these Sesame Street cards, and they were in her hand, and I remember she had been looking at them and playing with them, and she went, tried to climb the fence into the cemetery, and she climbed up to the top of the fence, and then she slipped, and she fell, and the metal, the jagged metal, went up and into her arm, and she was just hanging there just hanging there by her arm and she was screaming and I remember her she dropped her Sesame Street cards and they fell to the ground and I remember the cards blowing away and one in particular was blowing away and I thought she'll never see that card again it was like blowing into the cemetery and so then the guys in the cemetery I think it was Bob and Nick might have been all three of them freaked out. I hadn't gone into the cemetery. I was just still watching. They freaked out. They climbed the fence back up. They hopped on their bikes and took off. And I was looking at her hanging there. And I hopped, just hopped on my bike and took off. And I remember taking off down the driveway and heading off the street. And I just left her there. I didn't stop her from climbing the fence even though I knew it was extremely dangerous and I just left her there. So I want to apologize to you. I don't even know your name, but I know that I think you're Nick Stevens' younger cousin. And he was, uh, you had like dark hair, short dark hair like this. If you ever see this video, I was a friend of Nick's, he's pretty cool. Dude, Nick, if you ever see this video, I'd love to talk to you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I did that. I was just, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't secure enough to, to say it to people. Don't do that. Okay, I want to get that off my chest, and I encourage other people to do the same thing. If, you know, if you're sorry about something you did that you've never really talked about, make a make a video out of it and put it online. It will free you.